What's up, guys? My name is Robert Donaldson, and today we are back with episode number 22 of Rob's Best Bets for the date of December 20th, 2022. As always, you can find me on Twitter at RobDFB. And if you want more content like this in the future, definitely hit that like and subscribe button because it really does help out a ton. And before we get into this video, let's recap yesterday's performance. And we're coming off a great weekend, but we gave some back on Monday. And man, oh man, just across the board, there were some really bad beats and some games that just won me to pull my hair out, essentially. And especially with that Monday Night Football over. But hey... It's a new day, can't dwell on the past, and it's a great day of college hoops. Uh, that said, before we get into this video, let's give a big shout out to our sponsor. Today's video is proudly sponsored by WAP, and WAP is an all-in-one marketplace for communities revolving around sports, sports betting, and other digital products. And as you guys know, we don't bet on every single sports league on this channel, but that's where WAP comes in because they have so many different sports capping options to choose from, from NBA, NHL, tennis, and much, much more. And with every single service, you can easily read reviews, join free trials, and see what there actually is to offer. And if you are looking to expand your sports betting horizon, I definitely recommend checking out wop.com sports. And to make it easy, all you have to do is click the link in the description down below. All right, so for our first pick of the day, we are taking a look at one of the earlier start time games for Tuesday between Jacksonville and UL Monroe. And I will keep this one short. Give me Jacksonville laying the six and a half points here. And I am a really big fan of this Jacksonville team, the way that they play. And Yo Monroe is coming off of an aberration performance against Lamar. But they can't fool us. We already know who they are. So give me Jacksonville here to laying the six and a half points for two units. For our second bet of the day, we are taking a look at a matchup between Duke and Wake Forest. And Wake Forest is coming off of a really bad road loss. But now they're back at home with a team in Duke that I don't buy as a very big scoring threat. And this is going to be an environment that's going to be very loud for a Tuesday. And I don't think this Wake Forest team wins the game outright. But eight points is just far too many for a conference home game. So give me the Deacons at home as home dogs getting the eight points for two units. For pick number three, we are going a little bit off the radar here in a matchup between Cal Poly and San Jose State. And Cal Poly is coming off of a, let's just say, very rough loss to Weber State. But this is a Cal Poly team that I think has the defense to bounce back in a spot like this on the road where they've already played well this season. So give me Cal Poly here, getting the six and a half points. And I think their defense gets it done for us and keeps it within that margin. So let's throw three units down on a six and a half point number for Cal Poly. For our fourth pick of the day, we've got a very fun matchup between Nebraska and Queens University of North Carolina. That's right, the Royals. And this Queens team has just been printing money for us all season long. It's their first season at the Division I level, and they are starting to go off. And until they get respect, we are going to keep riding with them. So for our fourth pick of the day, give me Queens University of North Carolina Royals plus 10.5 for four units. For our fifth play of the day, we are headed out east, where we have a big east matchup between Providence and Marquette, and this Marquette team has made us a lot of money this season as well. However, Providence at home is just a different beast, and Ed Cooley just knows that these are the type of games they have to win to build a resume, and Marquette hasn't won in Providence in four years. I like the Friars here on the money line, so we're for our fifth play of the day, we are taking Providence on the money line for four units. For pick number six, we are taking a look at a matchup between Vermont and Toledo, and this is definitely one of the more exciting games of the day if you are a fan of the mid-majors. And once again, we are going with the home team, who hasn't lost at home in 18 straight games. You heard that, 18 straight games for the Catamounts at home. It really does feel like also this Catamounts team is starting to find a rhythm and get back to what we're usually seeing from them most years. And although this Toledo team is a good team, I love this as a spot to make a statement for Vermont. So give me Vermont on the money line here for four units. All right, for our final pick of the day, we are taking a look at a matchup between Northwestern and University of Illinois Chicago. And this is a matchup that features schools who are less than 30 minutes apart from each other. And I do think there is something to that inner type of city matchup. And listen, 
UIC has athletes across the board every single year, and this year is no different, and they can score. And I do think this Northwestern team is improved this season, but not enough to be laying 16 points to this UIC team. I think UIC potentially is a live dog in this matchup. So give me the flames here with the points for a very confident five units. I'm going to lay off the money line, but it also might be something that at halftime, if they're sticking around in that five point margin um, or maybe even have a lead, might be worth a live bet spot there. But that'll be something to monitor. Really do like the flames in this spot for our final play of the day. All that being said, I want to thank you guys for checking out today's video, along with WAP for sponsoring the video as well. But before you go, if any of you guys would like an additional free play for today, here's what you need to do. As always, just go on over to Twitter, drop a follow at RobDFB, and then just message me asking for that extra free play, and I will send you a message back with that pick. And it's going to be another four unit play. Yesterday, we hit on Oral Roberts minus nine. That was a stress-free bet, and a lot of you guys did reach out and got that pick, and I always truly do appreciate you guys reaching out over there on Twitter. That said, if you do want to show additional love, you can show, you can subscribe to the channel, you can like today's video, drop a comment down below, or share it as well. And as always, guys, I will see you in a future video. Take it easy.